You've survived Dublin Core. Congratulations. So let's recap. What have we done so far? We've looked at the 15 elements of Dublin Core. We've seen that the 15 elements are just the tip of the iceberg and that there are actually a great many more terms. We've looked at how to expand Dublin Core and looked at some communities like education that are working on expanding uh, the set of terms for particular uses based on Dublin Core. Um, we've looked at how to create a metadata record in Dublin Core that's composed of elements and values. We've looked at how to convert that metadata record into HTML using the meta tag. And we've spent some time pulling apart the abstract model, which is the model on which Dublin Core is based, but is intended to be much broader than just Dublin Core. It's intended to be a model for all metadata schemas. And we've looked at how to formally declare the semantics of a metadata schema in a namespace. Dublin Core has its problems to be sure. It is generic. Dublin Core is intended to be able to describe literally any kind of resource, which makes it very useful, broadly applicable, but with that comes a lot of restrictions. It describes anything, but that means that it doesn't describe anything very well. So that is both a strength and a weakness, but it was a deliberate decision on the part of the creators of Dublin Core to lower the cost of adoption. Another limitation of Dublin Core is that only a few communities have extensions to Dublin Core. It's not difficult to build those extensions, um, as we've seen, but you know, not everyone has done it. Using Dublin Core is easy. First level of interoperability. All you need to do is use, use the vocabulary of Dublin Core, and you're using Dublin Core. What's harder is using Dublin Core formally because that then relies on RDF and things start to get complicated fairly quickly. So Dublin Core is the place that we had to start looking at specific metadata schemas because it is so simple and because it is extensible and lots of things build on it and interoperate with it. But we've now gone as far as we can go without really getting into RDF. And so that's where we're going to go in the next unit. So that's all for today. Good night, good work, sleep well.